giving warning the producers of the lounge find swearing hilarious. But you may not. You have been warned, right? I'm Mrs. Three Times, Three Times, Three Times. I'm the cleaner here. I'm also the host for tonight. It was meant to be mess life, but I couldn't feckin' bear it. <laughs> Seasons in the feckin' sun. Sure everybody knows that Irish people can't take the sun. That's why we only have the one season, the feckin' shite season. <laughs> Bloody boy bands, jumped up altar boys with their highlights and their Timothy heads. <laughs> Trying to look like Princess Diana, it'll end in feckin' tears. <laughs> Jesus, what happened to the decent bands, ha? Huh? Like Black Sabbath and the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> huh? Too drunk to fuck. <laughs> Lyrics that mean things to Irish people. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, will you look at the feckin' state of this place? How am I meant to hoover up there, huh? <laughs> I suppose this is their idea of a good feckin' laugh. Feckin' comedians. Jesus, you wouldn't believe what I'd have to listen to here over the last few weeks. Big Mickey's this and long langers that. <laughs> and if it wasn't Big Mickey's, it was jokes about anal sex. What's so funny about anal sex? Jesus, it never made me laugh. <laughs> OK, that's enough. Now, here's the next act. Here's me feckin' hoover. Now, there's a saying in show business that you play at the lounge twice in your career. Once on the way up, once on the way down. Good to be back. <laughs> My name's Malcolm Hardy. I'm going to be here for the next nine hours. During that time, I'm going to be doing a poem, a few jokes, a bit of mime. Fuck it. That's the catchphrase. Fuck it. First of all, the poem. Poem number one. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm dyslexic. Is that right? <laughs> I'm not going to do the musical section of my act. I actually invented a form of music called the blues. And as you all know, the blues came from a place in South East London called Deptford. <laughs> Anyone here from Deptford? Hey. Give us a lift home. <laughs> Anyone here from Liverpool, by the way? Someone say yes, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll, in fact, I'll go back on that joke, else it won't look natural. <laughs> Anyone here from Liverpool? Not all of you. 
Right, I'll do it again. Just you, right? Just say yeah, right? <laughs> Don't have to do the accent, just yeah, like that. That'll do, right? Anyone here from Liverpool, by the way? Yeah, yeah here's £10, buy yourself a house. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, they won't show it, fuck it. Anyway, I'm going to play the blues on this rusty old harmonica, and I've got to sing this one. I've got a bit of a sore throat. You, sir, I couldn't have a quick sip of your drink, could I? Yeah, if you bring it up here, so then you'll actually be on the table, you can smile and everything. And I've got, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the blues on this old rusty harmonica. And yeah, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, look. Cheers. Uh -huh. No, you can have it. Hepatitis, terrible thing. <laughs> so here, we, here we go with the Tetford Blues. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning. And I woke up yesterday. I said I woke up this morning. And I woke up yesterday If I wake up tomorrow That will be three days in a row Here we go! I met my wife in Melbourne. I said, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Anyone here wear glasses, by the way? I know I do, you do over there, sir. Now, you don't have to tell me, but do people sometimes say, can I try your glasses on? When you're at a party or something, and you're a bit drunk. And do you say yes? Yeah, I do. And they put them on, and then they go, you must be really blind, like that, don't they? They do, but you wouldn't do that with anyone else. You wouldn't do it with someone with a hairpiece, would you go? Come on, let's have a go. <laughs> Fuck me, you must be really bald. <laughs> or someone with a deaf aid. Come on, well, they wouldn't hear, but you know. <laughs> Fuck me, you must be really deaf. Or someone in a wheelchair, come on, get out. Like me, you must be really crippled, wouldn't happen? <laughs> That's a lot from me, see you again. Oi, oi! Good evening and welcome to the box office. Earlier this evening, four comedians made an unsuccessful attempt to enter the Doyle. There's only so much one newsreader can take. That's all from my box. A very good evening. <laughs> Fantastic. Any single people in the room? Yeah. Yeah. God I love it. Do you find those sweethearts people judge, don't they? They come up because I'm single. I know you can't believe it. <laughs> but I draw the line at charity work. <laughs> now, but people judge, don't they? You want me, don't fight it. <laughs> now, look at him. Take your hands out your lap, sweetheart. I am doing the entertainment. Now, um, people judge, don't they? They come up to me, right? They say, ooh, you're single. You must be lonely. I say, don't be ridiculous. The voices keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I find difficult, you find this sweethearts of single people, when you sing and you have to go to a family do, like a wedding, you're sitting there and you're quite happy on your own, but all the relatives treat you like the special kid that's going to Disneyland for the last time. <laughs> They're like, oh, try and eat something. <laughs> and I am single. I'll tell you what it is, because I think I can share it. My boyfriend dumped me, what, oh, three, four months ago. And, and to be honest, it was a surprise, you know, because he was imaginary. <laughs> and... <laughs> I've had terrible boy, terrible, right? One boyfriend dumped me, then took out an injunction, you know, playing hard to get. <laughs> and... <laughs> and another one, I couldn't believe it, right? He used to get a little bit pissed up and slap me about. But ladies, you cling on, don't you? I used to think, oh, without domestic violence, we wouldn't have country and western singers. <laughs> but it is hard to meet people. I suppose one way to relax, isn't it? Have a few beers, isn't it? But how can I put this kindly? Doesn't matter how bosh you are. When you're pissed, you do tend to lower your sexual standards ever so slightly. <laughs> I get a bit tipsy and think, oh, well, he's got a pulse and a head. Nearly. <laughs> then a couple more drinks, you think, don't matter. Dead or alive, it's stiff. <laughs> and you've got to be careful with drink, you little lovely Irish people. You've got to be careful. You've got those machines. I know you have. You've seen them installed by the government to measure how pissed you are. Karaoke machines, they're called. So. <laughs> a 
as I say, I'm talking about, you know, weddings at the beginning, my brother's wedding, right? I was sitting there, and one by one, every old relative came up, right, and went, oh, don't worry. You'll be next. You'll be next. I hate that, but I get me own back at funerals. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good Thank you. What are you waving at me for? Huh? Huh? Oh, you want me to start, is it? All right. OK. Well, now, here I am in the audience. They want me to do a bit of a turn. So I'm going to do some fortune telling. Give us your hand there, gorgeous. <laughs> What's your name? George Delroy. George. That's a lovely warm hand, George. Where did you have that? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Let's have a look at your life. Oh, sacred heart of the Lamb of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Were you planning any holidays at all? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was, I was planning a holiday. Yeah. I'd go in early June, <laughs> if I was you. OK, let's have a look at the love. Oh, very good. There's a bit of a final fling here <laughs> with an older woman. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I better bring on the next act now. Please give the clap to the man with the beard. Give us a Frenchie there. Thank you. Hello, how are we? Are we all well? Good. That's what I like to hear. Does anybody actually speak English in here? Is it? <laughs> You look pissed off, sir. Spent the day doing your hair come out without it. What a shit. <laughs> oh. Show business, isn't it? May I introduce yourself again. My name's Kevin McCarvey. Known as a man with a beard. Known as a man with a short, stubby legs. A man with a big, wobbly tummy. Unfortunately, the man with the alarmingly small dinkle. <laughs> Probably the world's most successfully cured anorexic. Is there any other tubbies in this evening? I haven't had a good look round. Any, anybody? You've done a few pies in your time, sir, down there, yeah. <laughs> and the bloke on the end got away with it as well, didn't you, sir? Yeah. Oh, it's tubby boy weathers tomorrow. It's going to be windy tomorrow, which is how us tubbies like it. We just stand there solid as rocks while all you skinny bastards get blown everywhere. <laughs> Serves you right for being so bleeding comfortable on warm summer days. That's what I say. <laughs> there we go. Anyone been on holiday lately? Anyone been on holiday? I've just been to America. I ended up with constipation. Anyone been there? Have you been there, sir? Yeah, they give you so much to eat, I tell you. Oh, racks of ribs that are articulated just to get them on the plate. It, I ended up eating so much, I got constipated. I only actually weigh eight stone two. I'm, I'm just full of shit at the moment, up to about here. I actually tried to get rid of it on the way here. Like, we flew in to, to Dublin Airport, we got a train. And we had to change trains so I can get onto a handcart, which got us into this bit. I thought, Kevin, you've got ten minutes in the stage in there. Try and unload it. Try and get rid of it before the gig. So, no, I sat in there for a good ten minutes, and I did give it heaps. It was, ooh, hey, <laughs> My beard actually grew about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> Something else here that really upsets me about public toilets and stuff. <laughs> public toilet toilet paper. Eyes out medicated, they call this. Why they call it toilet paper, I don't know, because it's only any good for tracing or brass rubbings, isn't it, this stuff? <laughs> I mean, uh, you're educated people out there, right? You're educated people. You will have all done a good education. You've probably done a bit of science. Even if you went on to do arts, you did a bit of science. <laughs> and in that science, one of the things you learn, if something is shiny, fuck all sticks to it. <laughs> now, how did the good people at Eisau miss the inherent design fault in this toilet paper? Do you want that against your soft little bum, missus? I think not, do you? Before you can use this, you have to soften it up a bit. And believe me, there's only one way to do it. You grab hold of both ends like that and rub it furiously between your hands for about a minute. Don't go over a minute or it bursts into flames, cars, it goes up, everything. <laughs> then you put it in the bum wiping position. Oh. 
I believe that's universal, yeah? <laughs> if there's anyone in from Limerick, you probably don't bother with it at all. But, I mean, for any, anybody else, it's... <laughs> there we are. We're, we're almost ready to go, aren't we? I say almost ready to go, cos you, you will notice this little triangular shape appears at the top here, see? Handy little tip. Before you go any further, just take the edge off that. <laughs> no, otherwise, you could be talking three or four stitches on the first wipe. That's <laughs> wicked, I tell you. Then we're off, aren't we? Cooking with gas. Woof. We have a wipe, sling it down the pan. We have another wipe. Now, is it me, or on the second wipe, do we all get a bit inquisitive? <laughs> no, I'll be brutally honest with yourselves. Is there anyone in this room who doesn't have a little peek out the corner of their eye to see what's going on? <laughs> oh, bugger me. It's that sweet corn from last Tuesday. Look at that. <laughs> Third wipe, I'm down to a little mountain bike skid mark by now. <laughs> it's at this point I think to myself, now, do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Will those pants see the week out? Or should you have another go? <laughs> exactly, sir. I hate washing my pants as well, so I have another go. Whoosh! Up it comes, clean as a whistle. Eyes out, medicated toilet paper has done its job. Or so you think. <laughs> all you've actually managed to do with this stuff is smear poo all up your back, all over your shirt. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm still sitting in the station. Another train pulled in. Someone in obvious distress came hurtling down the platform, smashed through the double doors into the track next to me. And all I heard for two or three minutes was just this... <laughs> Jealous or what? <laughs> I turned to him, I said, blimey, mate, I wish that was me. He said, I bet you don't, I never got my trousers off. <laughs> That's enough for me. If you enjoyed my part of the evening, my name is Kevin McCarthy, the man with a beard. If you didn't, meet me in the back afterwards, we'll have a fucking great punch-up or something. How's that? Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>
look at this wild and crazy place. <laughs> you have the couch and the fire on the wall. <laughs> you have the wall on the floor. <laughs> and the very, very he heavy fish television. <laughs> I, I don't get it. It's like, it's like a, an outlandish malfunction. <laughs> How you go? My name is uh, Michael Schuster. Um, it's like you, Michael. You know, you Michael rows a boat ashore. <laughs> Ali. It's like that, yeah? But it's uh, Michael. I come from Kaufungen, near Castle in North Germany. Have we any um, North Germans in the house? No. I have no believing of you. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, uh, Süddeutsch, uh, South Germans? I can, I can test this. I can say. Um, uh, uh, was ist der Unterschied zwischen einer Schlange und einer Autoschlange? In der Schlange ist der Arsch zu Ende. There are many uh, South Germans in the room because that's a great joke and they have no sense of humor. <laughs> yes. The, uh, the South, South Germans, we have um, a uh, can't understanding of the humor. The joke, if you were to say in English, was uh, the difference In English, it's um, uh, what's the difference between the traffic jam um, and, but you can't say traffic jam because in Germany we say Autoschlange. It's um, auto snake. <laughs> it makes sense. Like it's a, a snake of cars, it's horizontal, yeah? And the um, traffic jam, the jam is, is a vertical in the jar with the lid. It makes no sense. You see, no cars go high. In. So the joke in German is, what's the difference between the, um, the, uh, the auto snake and the snake? In the snake, the asshole is at the end. It's very, very funny. Yes. But you cannot say, you cannot say the same thing with the, with, with the, the jam. Because um, there is no asshole with the jam. <laughs> Unless it is your Pat Kenny, and there's one for everyone in the audience. <laughs> so maybe it's the only time. In Germany, we have our own type of measles. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have some, um, some poems now I can do uh, for you. Um, the first poem is called simply The uh, Melon Foot. Yeah, The Melon Foot. <clears throat> Vegetable shops? <laughs> Vegetable shops on half the bloody pavement, more like. <laughs> um, the, the next one is called... <laughs> the next one is called the American Melon Foot. <clears throat> Vegetable store? Vegetable store on half the, the bloody sidewalk already, man. <laughs> ah, for the Americans. Uh, the next one's called the German Vegetable Store Melon Foot Place. Wurstbeln schaufen. Wurstbeln schaufen. It habt ein Aufenthaltserlaubnis, Melchin. It's my favorite. And um, the last poem, um, it's very different. It's called The Motorcycle Couriers. Yeah? Can you you have them? Yeah, you believe me. Oh, you fool. Um, <laughs> motorcycle Couriers? Motorcycle couriers and half your bloody wing mirror more like it. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You like the you like the culture. You have the English language and the, the German language, and they are so similar like that. You have, um, for example, when you when you go to somebody, you you kissing, yeah, you kiss. So you say kissing, and in Germany we say kuschen. It's outlandish. <laughs> Yes. Very like a malfunction. And, and not only that, when you say um, cushion, you lay your head on the cushion, yeah? Uh, we say kissen. So, kissen is cushion, and kissen is kissen. Now, that is outlandish without breaking the house down. <laughs> it's crazy like an animal on fire. And you, uh, madam, what's your name? Ka Hello, Carol. Can we get some mics to Carol? For God's sake, my God, I'm Hilda. Ah, schlo, okay. <laughs> um, Carol, can you say the word, um, can you say the word uh, Eichhörnchen? You try to say the word Eichhörnchen? Eichhörnchen? 
You cannot say it. <laughs> the English speakers cannot say the word Eichhörnchen. And it's the funny thing is that the Germans cannot say the English word for Eichhörnchen, which is squirrel. <laughs> you know the squirrel, the bushy tail? How mad is that? <laughs> yeah. I thank you, Dublin. I'm Deirdre O'Kane. That's all from the lounge. Good night.